Let me see if I can get this license off of the captain. What say you? Hey, old traveler. Brings you to the Raven Wake. Raven Wake. Oh, uh, not much. Upon the ship? Yes, the ship has been impounded by the damn Halalu authorities. I have a valid trade license, but they refuse to accept it. Maybe I can help you. Can I get a copy of the license? Sure, here you are. If you know anyone with power in this rotten city who has any decency, please show it to them. Not that I have too high expectations that's going to lead anywhere, though. Well, that was easy. Just gave me her license. Didn't even have to drive her. Other side of the town, okay. Raran Manor, here I come. We are. Masera. So an outlander walks into my home and wishes to speak with me. If you want a conversation, talk to my wife. She can tolerate insolence. Are you spying for the ship's crew? Masera has not done anything wrong. That's all I'm telling you. Okay, maybe I'll just talk to his wife then. Excuse me. I was just thinking. Oh, it's his wife. Okay. She's the main one here. Hello, madam. Your husband let me in. Please don't judge my husband too harshly. He does not trust easily, but he is a good man. Found the ship. Do you mean that the ship down in the harbor? About... Do you... You mean that ship down in the harbor? Yes. I do mean that. I'm afraid I don't know much about the case. 
I think it was due to license forgery or something, but it sounds like you have something else to report, am I right? There's a dock in the ship's... I just want you to check the ship's license. Okay, let me have a look. No, it doesn't match any of the copies I have here, and I don't think I've seen it before. Either I don't know... Maybe Nelvana Salero handled this case. Or I guess she left it to her underling, Zalan. That would be just like her. They both live in Zalan Manor further down the street. Yes, okay, I've landed. Zalan Manor we go. Can I ask her what the Valk thing? A Valk, are you sure? In that case, it's the worst smuggling attempt I've ever seen here for years. We need to arrest the captain. I see no way around it, except then the Valk would become our problem. If Dendora find out, no, we can't take that risk. Better send the ship away with its cargo. A hefty fine it is. Then that should keep the captain from trying something like this again. Okay, well, the captain will get a hefty fine then. Let's go to Salon Manor. Go ahead, I'm waiting. Salon Manor. What is this regarding Vosmer? Nalvana? What's your business here, Hyaline? If it's not important, you'd better take it with Zalan. He's upstairs. And pound the ship. Speak with Zalan. I have more important work to do than discussing the fate of a petty ship. Zalan, I like to think of myself as a hospitable fellow. But I can't have random strangers tracking mud in here. Go make an appointment with the council if you must. Actually, I'm here regarding council business about the impounded ship. What's that? I thought we'd collected all copies of that license ready. Oh, it's the captain's own copy. You gave me quite a start there. You see, Assess Assem Mustodros instructed me to hide all the copies to prevent that ship sailing away. He says there's something sketchy going on there. I don't know exactly what it is yet, but I'm sure it would be in the best interest of House Lalu if we could arrest the captain and confiscate the ship's cargo. If you want to know more, I think you should discuss it with Assessmos. You can find him at the Council Manor. One piece of advice, though, he doesn't like to talk to strangers. I advise you to bribe him before doing any important business with him. That's good to know. So look What's for your story? Assess most down at the council. Oh, wrong door. What is this? Back to the council. Let me relieve you no. of the burden you have no of your corners. Corners. have to bribe him. Let me see if I can charm him too.
Got him 100. Another 100. Find the chip. You should stay out of things that don't concern you, and why? Do you have anything to say in your defense? There's a Valk in the cargo. I was sure that would interest you. Ha! Yes, that does interest me, since you're going to die anyway. I can tell you this. We persuaded the authorities into impounding that ship so the Kamenaton could split the loot once the East Empire Company had lost interest in it. It wasn't too difficult with that stupid Red Garden in charge of the case. Now, you've heard enough. Prepare to die. What you gonna do? Like, really? Look at you, Mr. Tough Man. Your little iron war pick. Well. He attacked me. I think they should place him in a different room. There's like Under three witnesses here. We greet you all. Okay, let me go back to the docks. We are blessed, truly blessed. This is an honor. Hello, then. I just got directives to release the impounded ship. The captain is prepared to leave at once. If you're quick about it, you might still catch her before she leaves. Ugh, don't you be silly. You wanted to see me a final time before I leave. I'm sure the, you're the one who reported the Valk. So it's good for you that I don't have any evidence. Now please leave my work. Uh. Uh. Oh, there's left What's a... this regarding? It didn't even confiscate the belt. You get away. Sir. Sir. Buddy, run away. Come with me. I would command creature scroll. Oh, but I have my ability as a wood elf. Let me save this before. Follow me, friend. You're free. You're not welcome here. Be gone. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Oh, no. Oh, no. Belk, how could you do this to me? Oh, there we go. I am busy, so if you will excuse me. How are you today? I'm not gonna let them take you. You're a good boy. Come in here with a mean lady. Hireling you may speak. What can I do for you? <laughs> you could stay we right are there. blessed, truly blessed. This is an honor. Hello, I just got directives to release and pound the ship. So the license was valid, but the Kamenathang had persuaded the authorities into impounding the ship for their own shady schemes. I can't say I'm surprised. I think it's good you killed the one who ordered it. Although I advise you to be careful around them in the future. What do you mean? They're dead. I'm not gonna go visit their 
the crypt anytime soon. Anyway, should the need arise, this dagger might be helpful. I think you deserve it. I also think you should get a share of the fines we issued to the captain for the Valk. Now let Draenos Helvi know about your deeds, will you? Adamantium dagger, nice. Yeah. About the Velk, as you can see, he's here. And now he's yours, good luck! Oh, the Velk likes his new home. You may speak. That's what she gets for sending me on some stupid ass tasks. Fetch quests for finding people and talking to people. At least we're moving up in the ranks of House Lalu. I sent you to some business for Balin at the docks. Have you done what she asked for? You got the letter of recommendation. Good work. I don't have any work for you. For anyone your rank, Harleen. Perhaps you're ready for advancements? Yes, you've proven yourself worthy of the retainer rank. How about business now? Tola Saravam has caravan has been delayed. She is one of the most influential merchants in the city. So this is quite worrisome. You think you can investigate this? Yeah, I guess. Tell me about her care her, I guess. Or the caravan. The caravan has been delayed in Arva for a while. She's one of the most influ influential Halalu merchants in the city. So it would be bad for our house if this continues. Personally, I suspect Arvad's governor has overstepped her duties, but I'm sure Pola herself has more information. You can find her at the Golden Moons Club. One piece of advice though, Tola has a reputation for being very tight-fisted reputation. Tight-fisted with her money. So be prepared to bribe her. Naturally, I will compensate you. Yeah. Three blessings, Sarah. So we have to go to the Golden Moons. May I help you? Oh, here it is. Don't let him start in on that solemn duty crap again. Tell your friends about this place. Hello, madam. I am looking for Tola Serevan. May I help you? Retainer of House Lalu, what can I do for you? What brings you to the Golden Moons Club Retainer? Caravan has been delayed. It's about time Drano sent someone to deal with that matter. My caravans have been stuck in Arvud for weeks. That corrupt governor is asking me to pay additional dues to get them released. I run the most respected caravanning business between Care. Keenmore and Androthen. And no one asks me for additional dues. Go and tell her that, and be quick about it. Any further delay will spoil my flawless record. Where's our Vud? It's a Halalu caravan town in the heart of the Armand Ashlands. The town is governed by Lady Balvain. Uvain. Balvain. Let's go find Mr. 
Lady Balvain. I imagine I should be able to take... Stolt Strider? Hopefully. Ah, welcome. What may I do for you? Loot wise, I think we're doing pretty good. Why should I tell? Oh, wrong way. What's done for me lately. And we go. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. Hey, madam. Let's go to our wood. Let's see where I can take the Stolz Strider. Go to Man and Nun. Where would you like to go? Oh, this is the little town that. Please. Yeah, I was here. Let me. Well, that's not very far. Where do you go, my friend? Oh, you can go straight to our wood. Perfect. Where would you like to go? I'm here. So our vote is just a little caravan town, apparently. I like it. It looks awesome so far. This outside decoration is very cool. Go ahead. I'm waiting. I guess it's always a good place to start out. Let's go f check out this, what seems to be a bar, tavern, council club. Go ahead. Please, oh, have a look around. What? Welcome to Lucky Shalasas. Caravan Seriae, Outlander, the Shalasa, Samane, the publican of this place. Please, shake off the dust of your feet, pull up a chair and have a drink. We've got beds if you need a proper rest. If you're interested in some gambling, we've got a bit of that too. I don't run the games myself, but I allow them under my roof. It's good for business, you see. A happy gambler drinks a lot, and a sad gambler drinks twice as much. The game of 36 is pretty popular among my patrons. You only need a pair of dice and some gold to play. It's a game of chance played with dice, as the name would suggest. The aim is of the game is to get a score of 36. The gamblers will tell you that it's all about skill, but there's a great deal of luck involved too. Talk to Iridor or Villas Danoran downstairs if you're interested in playing. Yeah. I guess I have time for a game.
Someone in particular in this town? The most impers important person in town is Lady Balvene Uvain, the Halalu governor. You best go through her steward, Armas Tyravel. However, he handles the day-to-day -day affairs. Advad hosts a wide range of services too. As you can see, I run the caravan Sarai. Besides the usual merchants, Galver Irano sells slaves, if you're interested in that sort of thing. What assistance do you need? My time is precious, so make it quick. I don't believe I've seen a wood elf in such a grand outfit in some time. Do you want to play a game of 36? Bills once taught me a caravaner playing with loaded dice. Bazook, his orc henchman, broke that poor bloke's arm. I'm so listening. the dice game is serious. Hey, old friend. Ah, oh, speak if you must. Just make it quick. Wanna play Game of 36? Nah, I don't play. Talk to Vils. If you wanna lose all your money, he's a damn wizard with a dice. Yes, sir. I close the door, just make it confident. Hey, Vils. What's up, buddy? You wanna play Game of 36? Yeah, I do. Let's play, shall we? Explain the rules to me. Each turn of the game, the player rolls their dice and add up the number to their total score. You must always roll both dice. The aim is to score 36. Whoever gets their total score closest to it wins the game. You can throw the dice as many times as you wish. But if you go over 36, you lose. Simple enough? Oh yeah, let's do it. How much are we wagering? You can't play without dice other than Gallo. As luck would have it, I happen to have an extra pair right here. You can have them for five septums. Yeah, I'll have to go for it. Great, here you go. Now let's get back to business. Let's play. 100 septums. 100 drakes, I accept. This will be interesting. Let's begin. First round, remember, the goal is to get as close to the total score of 36 as possible. Are you ready, Eladan? Give those guys dice a good shake and throw them. Roll the dice, baby. You both roll the dice. You roll the 4 and the 2. So he's at 4 and I'm at 6. And I want to get to 36. Roll dice. So I have six plus six is twelve plus five is seventeen. So I can still continue rolling. Seventeen plus twelve is twenty nine. Okay, so here's the point. I can only get seven more points, which is half the maximum I can get. He's at 24, so he can still throw the maximum. How does this work? Do I just, if I stand? Is it just for one round and he throws again? You must stand. You decide to stand. Your final score is 29. Continue. Your opponent's current score is 24. 
you have decided to stand with the final score to nine. Your opponent rolls a five and a two. Okay, okay, I see how that works. Let's play another one. I understand now. 100. Roll those dice. So my score is 8. He is his 5. Roll again. Minus 13. My score is 23. If you roll again, 29. I have to roll one more time. I'm going to stand with 34. Final score is 34, 28. It's a tie. One more game. Of the dice. Let's roll the dice one more time. Oh, I'm busted. Well, that was interesting. Good games, good games, gentlemen. Draw my money. Hello, madam. Welcome to our wood, an oasis of trade and res respite in these hostile Ashlands, Outlander. I am Tav Ilu Lervu. Are you looking for a specific place or someone in particular? Let's hear it. I am, but you don't have any of that dialogue available. Mila's Barathen. Yes, sir. Hello, you my friend. Talk too much, Outlander. I don't recall inviting you to my room, Outlander. Can't you respect a man's privacy? Background. I don't care of an ear. Okay. Speak, traveler. Hey, old friend, welcome to our bud. Yeah, tell me about the specific places around here. There are plenty of shops here. The indoor bazaar might interest you. Uvine Manor is home to her local Halalu governor, Lady Velavane. The Halalu operated Ushukur mine lies beyond the hills to the west. Yeah, I guess that's enough info. Let's start looking around the town. Take a look at the shops. Alchemist. Let's see what the alchemist has. Um, I saved Lala's from a mad brigash today. I'm so scared. Sometime something might happen to me. I drank a cure disease potion just in case, but that damn witch's curse might be more than that. I hope nothing happens. Maybe I should have just walked away. Lala is a good friend, but was that friendship worth it? Well, the deal is done. No going back. Oh. Well, the alchemist seems to be missing. How are you today? Hello, Outlander. You know Narvud. Did you come here on foot? Maybe you saw my friend Atraban de Ras on the road. 
He's the alchemist here in Arvad, my old friend. Usually, Atriban would be in his shop, but he hasn't been up there for a while. I don't know where he is, and I'm a little bit worried about him, Outlander. I'm sure he wouldn't leave Arvud without telling me. Can you help me find him? Sure, I'll keep an eye out for him. Thank you, Outlander. As I said, the door to his house is locked, but the shop upstairs is open. Maybe you could search his shop and look for clues. Maybe a key? I hope you find him. Okay, that's a good tip. I, I'm, I'm wearing my Thieves Moral Compass. I just did not check. And it was right in front of my face. <laughs> oh. Hello, buddy. The shark seems to have some trouble speaking. Uh, uh, hi, I am Atraban Derans. Oh, speaking seems so different. I will never get used to this. Why are you here? I was looking for you because you were missing. Oh, thank you, stranger. I don't know how you can help much with my condition seeing that i'm a shock though tell me about yourself despite everything i'm still me why are you a shock though yes i'm a shock i don't feel comfortable talking about that to someone i barely know you can trust me i'm the only one here to help you uh all right i think you could help me i I just woke up as a shock overnight. Some time ago, everything was normal. Then one day, I suddenly woke up like this. I don't know why anyone would do this to me. It really feels horrible. The walking, coordination, all these legs alone is so hard. I haven't really angered anyone who could do this. Unless... That wretched Mabrigash put some spell on me. It was a long time ago. I had to free my friend Lalals from the clutches of Mabrigash. The Mabrigash was angry and shouted to me that I'd regret it. I was scared for a whole month, but I forgot it because nothing happened. It's been a long time, but she's the only person that could have done this. Uh, this which gave me this life. Even death would be better than this. Tell me about the Mabrigash. Will you help me remove this curse? You might have to convince the Mabrigash to remove the curse. It won't be easy, but I'll make it worth your time. I promise. Anything to be an elf again. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. She has made her camp in the ruined buildings to the northeast of Arvud with some slaves. You could try to kill her, but I doubt you'll succeed. Mabrigash are very strong. You might be able to convince her, but I doubt that would be e an easy task either. Good luck, Aladan. You'll need it. So this is getting a little bit weird. Masera. Can I not just tell him? A shark? You found a talking shark? That is grotesque. Or Atraban. Whatever you want. Oh, what a great friend you are. Reason. Your friend, what do you sell? You best get the hell out of our Vod Outlander. No one wants you here. Well, oh, you must be Tong. Common of Tong. Common trash. Boulder? 
Hello, my friend. Fresh off the caravan trail, uh? My name's Nels Verano. Welcome to our Vlad Outlander. Are you looking for someone in particular? No, what do you have for sale? Nothing. Don't expect much. I will listen, Outlander, but make it. Yes, Check Outlander. out the trainer's what weapons. Greetings, Outlander. I'm Halvora Hilver. Are you planning on staying out of wood for long? Or are you just stopping for a moment to rest and replenish your food and supplies? I can tell you're about the local services if you're feeling lost. Tell you about the local services. Nothing good here, it seems. Speak, Traveler. Oh, that's an interesting little face mask you have on. Little vice? You best get inside, Outlander. There's an ash storm coming. I can feel it in my bones. It'd be creepy if it actually started. Having a little ash storm. Quickly, Outlander. I haven't much time. Oh, here comes the ash storm. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's a nice little touch. Let's go in the armor. Anything good here? Hello, madam. What's here for sale? Heavy kite and helmet. Go ahead. I'm waiting. Excuse me. I was just thinking. Oh, these are slaves. There's a wood elf. I'm listening. Hello, Bosmer. Why fur be praised? You fur be praised. Maybe you will listen to me and help me out. You see, there has been a case of mistaken identity. I would find the whole situation amusing if it wasn't happening to me. You see, that boneheaded slave driver over there, Galver Irano, has gotten it into his head that I'm, I am Almes Kajit. Ridiculous, right? Anyone with half an eyeball can see that I'm a Bosmer. The situation is obviously quite embarrassing for Mr. Irano, and so he has chosen to ignore me altogether. Perhaps you can persuade him to let me go free. How did this happen to you? My memory is a bit hazy when it comes to that. I had a gambling debt with some bad people back home. Those gangsters offered me job a job loading some cargo onto a ship to pay it off. Easy enough, I thought. Next thing I know, I'm in a bloody cage with this here lot being smuggled into Morrowind. What about you two friends? I don't know these two. I only socialize with them because I'm not given much of a choice, am I? Let them stay shackled for all I care. Sure, I'll help you. Very well, thank you, other lad. Oh, I sort of feel bad for my brethren. Okay, some mistaken identity. Let's see what he says. Actually, I'll save it before. What are you talking about? I can tell you that I've got paperwork for all my slaves.
Wait, I'm very confused. The other two are Bosmer too. That's not a lie. The three slaves aren't Kishi, they're all Bosmer. No, that's nonsense. They are all mess. They look deceitfully similar to what else. I give you that. But they're Khajiit regardless. Even so, if slavery is wrong, you should let them go. Are you some sort of radical abolitionist, Eladan? I would quickly go out of business, business if I just let perfectly good slaves go free. If you want to free them so badly, why don't you buy them off me? You and I are about to become very close. Oh, they are different. I wish I had the Tamil map up, but so so down here is elsewhere. Down further down to the south is, is elsewhere, and then. Elsewhere shall shares a border with Vathenwood. So somewhere amongst the border there's a mix between Kaji and Bosmer. What are you talking about? I can tell you that I've got the paper for all these slaves. They're a man. Dalian isn't because he, he's a Bosmer. No, that's nonsense. Never mind. What if I... What if I seduce you with my lovely scent? And my lovely touch? Please, not again. I'll be damned, you're right. He is a wood elf. The cat catcher sold him to me as an alms. They lied to me. So you release him? I don't think I have any other choice other than the paperwork I have is for a Khajiit slave. It's bloody useless now, isn't it? Sigh. Ter tell their man Dalian that he is free to go. Go free. What did the slave trader say? Can I go f now? Galver Irano says you can go free. Great. You have my thanks, Aladan. Greetings and salutations. Oh, oh. That's something I never thought of. I didn't think Pajit could cross with other races. That's cool. <sighs> Good day to you, traveler. Can you spare a drake for a poor beggar? As you can see, I'm old and dirt poor. One drake would let me buy a loaf of bread. Can you help me? If you're so poor, how come you got the silver blazers? You have a keen eye, my friend. Aye, that's silver around my wrist. And that's... And it's Lalo silver, no less. A keepsake of my old glory gaze. Lalo silver. Why you spare Drake for, my, for me first, Outlander? My stories are all I've got. I know better than to tell them for free. Yeah, here's 500. You are quite the altruist, aren't you? Thank you most sincerely, Eladan. Yeah, sure, I just cleared out a vault. You can have a little bit of what I took. <clears throat> you see, back in my youth, I was an Ashlands roaming bandit. My mates and I had a gang that raided caravans and robbed wealthy travelers. I ain't trying to defend that life, but we... 
only ever robbed what needed what we needed and never killed nobody. But well, one day we really hit it big. A Lalu caravan loaded with silver, making its way from Narciss to Andothrin. The armed escort was minimal on the count of them trying to remain inconspicuous. We stopped the caravan and seized the treasure for ourselves. What happened next? Well, the high and mighty Sir Joe's down in Narciss obviously wanted their silver back. They sent their bloodhounds to capture us and recover the treasure. Sure enough, they did catch us, but not before we had hidden a portion of the silver. They beat us. Some of my mates died. They threw us all in jail for half a lifetime. The rest of my mates died there, but we never told them where the missing silver was buried, so they never found it. It's still there in the Ashlands waiting in the ground. You're free now, why don't you go get your silver? I'm a frail old man now, and the Armoon Ashlands are a dangerous place. There's no way I could ever get to it. That silver might as well be on the moon. Which one of the moons? I could get to the silver, tell me where it's buried. Hmm, all right, you've helped me, after all. I'll tell you where the silver is buried. I ain't drawing you no map, so you better write these directions down in that little diary of yours. I'm listening. First, you follow the caravan road south until you come by a burial mound. You'll know it by the flags and the mummified corpses that rest there. One of them poor devils holds on to a spear. If no one ain't touched it, the spear will point the right way. Follow the trail towards the mountains until you see two crossed trees. Look through the trees and you will see a spot where the fire ferns grow. The silver is buried in the box there. You will need a shovel. Well, that's quite complex. I guess we'll go silver hunting to buy a shovel. Bizarre. Is Don't there friends. something you need? I would really like your bazaars if you guys sold anything worthwhile ever. Is there something I can do for you? Be careful if you venture outside the walls of Arvud Outlander. The Armun Ashlands are unforgiving. I'm not busy now. What do you need? I guess one of these big houses is where I have to be. Say what you want or go away. Well, my friends, no, 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 thank you. Not interested. Whatever it is, it will have to wait. Between trying to recover some stolen cargo, taking care of vampires out in the wilderness, and Sir Joe Vindal of Relith showing up to visit unannounced, I've got too much on my plate already. Tell me about the stolen cargo. I don't want to talk about it. Just thinking about it is giving me a splitting headache. 
I already have to sack that stupid boy, Travel, because he was too incompetent to handle the situation. I could help you if you told me what's happening. Well, all right. As you probably heard, a gang of bandits, most of them outlanders, raided one of our caravans recently. It happened just outside our wood, right under our noses, humiliating. They took off with some valuable cargo, but that's not even the beginning of, a, beginning of it. No. When I sent Dravil to track them down, he came back with a letter from the bandit leader, a letter demanding money. They want us to ransom our property back. Can you believe the gall of those people? Tell me what the cargo is and I'll get it back from the bandits. The cargo is an Argonian slave. Bring him back and you will be rewarded. A slave? I won't help you with that. So then I've got a headache for nothing. Quit wasting my time, Outlander. Caravans have been delayed. That's another problem I have on my plate. This is so frustrating. Wait, did Tola Severam send you? Then I think you can actually be of use, you see. I did order the caravan to halt here, but not for the reason I've t had Tola believe. No, I'm not after her money. Please forward my apologies when you return to her. This is something much more serious. The food they were carrying was diseased. If that shipment would have reached Cargan more, it could have ruined Tola's business as well as our own. You see, I'm very familiar with how well Tola manages her business. If the food would have been spoiled at the at departure, I'm sure she would have noticed. Therefore, I suspect someone has sabotaged the food. I didn't want to raise the saboteur suspicion, so that's why I came up with this rude excuse to catch her attention. Now that I have entrusted you with this, perhaps you can help me catch the sort of saboteur. I have one suspect, and the circumstantial evidence is pretty strong, too. You see, just before you discovered the spoiled food, an unusually well-equipped fellow came here with his guards. He then started asking a lot about incoming goods, things that shouldn't concern him. He just kept showing up despite our attempts of chasing him away. His name is Anberis Irathi. And he still stays at the Lucky Shalasha Caravan Sarai here in Arvud. Deal with him and I'll release the caravans. By the gods, oh, you tourists are a nuisance. I can stand this bleeding sun. The Arman Ashlands is no place for a Nord. What's your trade? I'm a warrior by trade. So, I need to go back go to ahead. the club. Speak, traveler. I suppose it is my duty to help those Do you less seek fortunate training? than myself. Our doors are always open. I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. You guys downstairs? 
Is there something I can do for you? Hey, buddy. Got a roof over my head not for now. Thanks to you, my friend. What can I do for you? Hey, cool. That's a real nice touch. He's in the inn now. 